بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ماي اول دير ستودنتس هوب يو اول ار فاين ويل اس اند وي ار جوينج تو سولف our exercise that is available on your page number 101 okay 101 well your exercise is 4b and we are going to solve question number 5 and 6 of your exercise 4b my dear students on exercise 4b question number 5 we have the question is we have to write the question is write vertically and subtract one thing which is very important for you whenever you are going to solve any exercise and you have to find out any answer so you all have to focus the question that what they are talking about what they are asking about so that thing is very easy for you to solve the answer and get the answer okay so here i have a question and we will read the question thoroughly they are asking again i'm telling you write vertically it means it that's the first step of our question that we have to write that one question vertically okay and subtract you know very well what is subtraction it's a sign here well i have written i have mentioned all the digit as a vertical okay let's do the subtraction well let's start well here are there is a one and i have to subtract one into one supposed to be i have only one marker and i have given that this one marker to someone it means i have nothing mathematics so we have to just mention zero here okay it means one minus one into zero okay here i have to subtract one into eight so it means i have only 7 here i have to follow the decimal form as you know that this is a decimal form we are going to subtract so you have to follow the point here okay well here is a confusion i have to subtract 9 into 1 is it possible yes it's possible i have to borrow 1 from the that one digit when i will take 1 from here so it will become 1 okay it's not 2 i have taken already 1 here so it has become 11 now it's very easy for me to subtract well if i subtract 9 to 11 so okay well again i have the same situation that i have only one again i will just borrow 1 here and it has become 11 and now it's 4 okay so i will just do the same here as i do that so i will found i will find 2 here here i have 4 and i have to subtract only 1 it's very simple and easy i got 3 well i have solved my question as i have written that vertically first then i have subtract and when i subtracted 521.81 and to 1 uh, 199.11 so i got 322.70 one thing which is very necessary to tell you after after the decimal sign we have two digits okay zero means nothing if our question or decimal number are ending with cipher so you don't need to write that okay it means my answer is 322.7 got well the next question is i am going to solve but my dear students you have to answer me in comments that what i am going to solve okay you have to solve with me as i will ask to you that what i am going to do okay tell me that i have again the same situation that i have to subtract 5 from cipher tell me what should i do yes i have to borrow from the next digit it's 9 and i can take very easily okay i will take 1 only 1 and after taking only 1 it has become more than 5 it has become 10 but it has now 
it has become 8 okay let's start to solve i have to subtract 5 from 10 so it i got yes 5 okay and then here is 8 and i have to subtract 4 so what i will get tell me the answer yes i will get 4 again i have to follow the decimal point okay then i have 7 here and 9 i have to subtract 7 into 9 so what i will do 7 9 i will take 2 it is 2 the answer is 2 here i have 8 and i have to subtract from 1 the same situation i will take just borrow here and when i will take just borrow here so it will become 11 and of course 11 is greater than 8 and when it will become 5 let's start 8 subtract from 11 answer is 3 okay well here i have 5 and uh, i have to subtract 4 it's very easy after 4 i have 5 so i will just subtract 1 the uh, answer is 1 well my dear students my question was 619.90 and i had to subtract 487.45 i have got my answer 132.45 that was all about our subtraction now we have to solve multiplication we have they have been giving you two question and my dear student it's very necessary whenever we are going to do multiplication so we have to learn the table okay you all have to learn the table in your free time here i am going to solve two exercise two question for you c and d let's start well that one part of multiplication is called multiplicand and I have a multiplier. What's my multiplier? Here is 7. This is multiplier and this is multiplicand. Okay. So I have to read the table of 7 till 7. Okay. 7 7s seven are 7 7 are 49. Yes. So it's very necessary that we have to write the right part of here. And where, where, where I have to write 4? Yes. I will write 4 as a carry. Got? 49. 7 7s are 49. Okay? It has become our carry. The next, again I have to just multiply 7 with the 3 in the next digit. Okay? 7 3s are 21. 7 3s are 21, but what I have to do with that one carry? I have to add with that one multiplication. 7 3s are 21, but I will just add that with 21. Okay. I have to add 21 with 4. So here are my four fingers. Okay. 21, 22, 23, 24, and then 25. Yes, I have got 25. Again, I have to write the right side here. And the 2 will become our carry. Here I have to so multiply 7 with 9. Okay. When I will do 7 with 9. So 7 9s are. Yes. 7 9s are 63. Again what I have to do with that. 63 plus 2. Yes. 65. Here at last I have to follow my decimal. Well, I have got my answer that uh, when I subtracted 93.7 93 with 7, so I got my answer 655.9. That was all about. Now I have the next question, but here I have something different. Yes, here I have two multiplier, okay? Here I have to subtract, uh, I have to multiply with two multiplier. That is my multiplicand and that's my multiplier. Okay. That is very easy, I think, because we have very simple table here. We have we have to read. Okay. Well, let's start to do that. 
Three nines are three nines are twenty-seven. Yes, two is here. Three ciphers are cipher. So I will write the same carry my here. Three six are eighteen. Okay. Well, we have to start our next when I will uh, start to multiply with the next multiplicand multiplier. So I have to just take the mark of multiply here. Okay, so I will write, start to write here from my next next line. Four nines are well, four nines are thirty six. Six is here, and three is my carry. Three uh, four ciphers are ciphers, so I have to sign right here my carry. Well, four six are twenty four. That is not enough. I have to. Well, I have got my product, but I have to add both of them. Okay, that is the last step. Seven, eight, eleven. Here also I have carry six and two. At last, in the answer, I have to point here my decimal. Okay. Well, my dear student, when I multiply sixty point nine with forty three, so I got my answer two thousand. What two thousand sixty six hundred and eighteen point seven. That was all about uh, today. We have learned about subtraction and multiplication with decimal. Okay. well the, that was all about your copy work you have to do in your copy also with very neat and clean and my dear students you have to just complete your work you have to make the title page the work should be very neat and clean you have to uh, you want to know more about so you have to just you can ask uh, send us a message on whatsapp thank you so much allah hafiz